virtual travelers, this is Michaela, your guide from the Spirit of Japan tours. And today it's my pleasure to take you to one of the most important Zen temples in Eastern Japan called Engakuji. The temple is in the ancient capital city of Kamakura that is about an hour away from Tokyo and was founded in 1282. So it is more than seven centuries old. There's a lot to see here and I will try to show you my most favorite things. I hope that you enjoy our outing. Oh, there is a sea falcon. Uh, I don't know what they do. Do they sing or cry? Crying over there. Anyways, I hope that you enjoy our outing on this beautiful summer day. And with this, let's go. Right now, we are in front of the first gate to the temple. And it is a rather majestic one. The gate was burned once, like fires, they are always a huge hazard in this country. So um, it was rebuilt in the 16th century and this is what we are seeing now. It's relatively new version. Otherwise, the construction is uh, very simple. There are not any, you know, special decorations here, apart from these wood carvings. It's just the very size of it and the huge logs that it was made of that is so impressive. And over there in front of us is the main hall of the temple. Inside the main hall, of the temple is the statue of the jewel crowned Buddha that the temple is dedicated to. And what is really cool is look at the dragon painted on the ceiling. This is the work of a very famous Japanese artist. What is in front of us is the Senbutsu Jo, that literally means to select the Buddha. And this is a meditation dojo, a meditation room where uh, monks come to meditate. I believe I didn't mention the fact that um, Engakuji is an active training center for uh, Zen monks. So this is where people come, they train, they learn to become monks. And next on our way is the meditation place for lay people. If you want to try Zazen, you're always welcome to. You can join uh, the regular Zazen session that is held here in this building on Saturdays and Sundays. For what, from what I hear, they're trying to do it online now. Let's see what will come out of that. But it is such a nice and peaceful place. Just a wonderful place to come and meditate. Going up the avenue, I want to show you something that I really um, love here. Well, we have been having a lot of rain lately and because of that, everything is so nice and green. The grounds are covered with green moss. So there is a place here that I really love and I would like to show you. The rain that we have been having lately has turned everything here into a mystical world of moss and green. Look at those 
little statues over there of bodhisattvas, protectors and guides that we have in our human experience. There's something very special in this place. What I want to show you next is a beautiful stone garden that is dedicated to the Bodhisattva of Mercy, uh, Kannon. And it's actually called the Hundred Faces of Kannon. So there are 100 statues of Kannon that have been collected over the centuries. Some of them are really old. They're more than seven centuries old. And it is believed that as you go through the garden, as you pass through the statues of Kanon, and if you pray to Kanon to help you, to grant you her mercy, to take away from you the heaviness, what weighs you down, your wish would be granted. And you will come out of the meditation in a much lighter and better state. As a friend of mine said, everything is beautiful here. Even the walls are beautiful because they're covered with this old moss. And just look at the trees. These are maples, by the way. So the place is going to be just spectacular in the fall when all the maples change their colors. I think I'm coming for sure. of the seven gods of good fortune and she's actually the only goddess. Uh, she's the goddess of femininity, of creativity, of all the waters and everything that flows. So there is a strong connection between Engakuji and the shrine of Benten on a little island not so far away from Kamakura. Um, it is believed that with the help of Benten, uh, the bell of Engakuji was cast 700 years ago. So, uh, as you can see, she's really honored here. And I believe that what we are seeing are the tables that were left for a tea ceremony. Probably a tea was done here. So, being Benzai Ten, being Benten, a goddess, <laughs> it's such a beautiful place. What we're seeing here is an old tea house that is right next to the temple of Benten, to the goddess of femininity. So as you can see, tea houses, they do not look, they don't have any special in, in, in how they look in their design. They're actually pretty simple because they're meant to, in a way, just provide the environment for the tea ceremony that should be the focus. So, yeah, this is it. And what I absolutely love here is because the tea house is so old, can you see that they're our plants and moss growing on the roof is just so wabi-sabi, so rustic, and I love that. And before I leave, I would like to give you an aerial view of what the temple grounds are like. 
I of course cannot see the whole thing from here, but it would give you an idea. And I absolutely love the deep forest that surrounds the temple. And with this last look at this beautiful place, I want to say that I hope that you enjoyed our little visit today and also to say goodbye until our next virtual tour together. Bye-bye.